This is a quick video on how to deal with TypeScript with the React Context API. Okay, so we're passing along this value for, for, for our context here, but we have not specified that here. So when you create a context, here TypeScript is going to infer this is going to be a context of type null, right? And here, this is not null. This is going to be an object with values. So here we need to provide the type of this context, right? So let's do that uh, here. Type theme context type. So we're going to have a theme, right? And that's actually going to be of type theme, right? Light or dark. And then we have that toggle theme function. So to type a function here, it's about the input. Well, it's not going to take anything and it's not returning anything. So just void. Okay. So that's going to be, that's going to be the type of this value, right? So we need to specify that for when we create the context, we can do it with these angled brackets. Um, and then let's see, we're going to have another issue because now we haven't, we have not specified that this can be null, right? But now we are saying we're, we have a default value of null. So, so now sometimes this is going to be null. So what we could do is say, or null. So it's going to be this or null. Okay. So now that you get rid of all the issues, you know, this is uh, the real world. So it's a bit uh, annoying maybe to take care of the types, but uh, we get a lot of benefits from that. Now we're going to get an issue here from TypeScript. So TypeScript is complaining, type active section, blah, 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 is not assignable to type null. So here, when we created the context, we specified null. So it inferred a type from that. So if I hover this, you can see it infers that this React context is just going to be some null value. And that's not true, right? So here we can use angled brackets to specify what this context type is going to be. So basically what the shape of this value object is going to be, right? So let's actually call that active section context type. And then we'll define it up here. So we'll say, no, oh, actually it already suggested for us. So we're going to have an active section and that is indeed going to be home about, you know, projects. That's actually the section name that we already defined here. So we can use that type here as well. Then we're also going to have a set active section and yeah, Copilot actually suggests the perfect uh, suggestion here. So this looks very strange because set active section is actually a uh, setter function that we get from use state. If you hover this variable, you can actually see the type. Right, so you don't have to memorize this. Sometimes, if, you know, if you don't have Copilot, for example, let's say we don't have Copilot, and you don't know, okay, so set active section is what we're passing along, but what's the type of this, this setter function? You can just hover it, and it will tell you what that type is. Right, so it's something like react.dispatch, and then it's a generic. So here in the angled brackets, we have something else, which is also generic, it also has a generic, also a generic. So then you can pass in another uh, well, variable or type essentially here. Right, so here, um, I'm going to copy all of this. That's how you would do it. And you would say, this is the type. Now here, it's actually, it's actually using these values of all the links here. We don't need to do that. We can just use section name, right? So we can just say section name, right? So this is basically the context type. We already specified that here. And now we get an issue. So we say argument of type null. We basically just told this create context that it's going to be of, of this shape. But now we, we, we also, all of a sudden, we are passing in null. Null is not defined. We haven't said that it's going to be null here. So now to say, well, you can't pass null. It's, going to, it's not part of the shape. So we can say it's going to be of this type or, or a union type in TypeScript or null. Right? So then that error disappears. So, uh, so the default value could be null. Right? So the value could be null if we are using it outside that provider component. Okay, so that's enough about types. Uh, TypeScript is a bit tricky to wrap your mind around, especially if you're just getting into TypeScript. But... If you have mastered JavaScript, I keep repeating it. If you've if you've mastered JavaScript, it's very easy to pick up TypeScript as well. So I know some of you um, are very excited to build, you know, very advanced applications, but you're gonna run into many issues if you haven't mastered the fundamentals. By the way, if this was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Also, check out my courses on CSS and JavaScript if you want to take those skills to an advanced level. Because in there, we will build some beautiful real-world projects from scratch so you can see how everything fits together and really master CSS or JavaScript. And I will also release other courses soon like React and Node.js. So if you want to be notified, then make sure you are subscribed to the email newsletter. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.